It's 11 trivia questions on Family Guy quotes for Patreon subscriber Taryn Napolitano. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show here, recording in my garage, putting my laptop down so you don't see that, and instead see a very cool Stranger Things lunchbox right behind me if you're watching on YouTube. We got a fun show for you today. It is Family Guy related. We haven't done a Family Guy episode in a long time. And Taryn, who is a Patreon subscriber and otherwise known as the Monrovia Pet Nanny in Southern California, said, hey, I love Family Guy. Can you do an episode on it? And I said, yes, let's do it. We're going to do some Family Guy quotes. So I'll give you a quote. You tell me which character said it. No character is repeated twice. So this should be a fun one if you like that show. I remember when the Family Guy DVDs came out, how ecstatic everybody was and how everybody was trying to find the different volumes to find certain episodes. And it was before YouTube and clips and things like that. Oh, man, it was the best. I remember watching that. I think it was sophomore and junior year of high school. So 2003, 2004, just uh, sitting there for days watching some Family Guy on the old DVD player. And now uh, it's still on the air and we have uh, dozens and dozens of seasons and things. And uh, I have not watched a new episode of Family Guy in quite some time, but I know there's still some fans out there. And I hope you found this episode of the podcast or the YouTube show to play along. Before we jump into today's episode, if you're watching on YouTube, I have some Super Mario sticker sheets that I got at uh, a Dollar Tree. Been showing off some cool stuff that I got at different Dollar Trees and 99 cent stores. 300 stickers from the world of Super Mario. Got some uh, very cool old school characters and things in here. Lots of coins, lots of Koopa kids. So if you like that kind of thing, look at your local Dollar Tree for some Super Mario stickers, which make a great bingo and trivia prize at my live events. All right, we're going to jump into to this episode on Family Guy Quotes. It's going to be a ton of fun. And if you have a topic that you want me to do like Taryn wanted Family Guy, donate $5 or more over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. It's the easiest and quickest way to support the show if you got a few extra bucks to spare. Maybe that big tax return came in and you want to spread the wealth around. That would be very cool of you. Patreon.com slash trivia with buds. All right, we've got 11 questions for you on Family Guy quotes. I'll give you the quote. You tell me which character said it on the show. Here we go. All right, Family Guy quotes. Let's see how many of these you can get right out of 11. Number one. Wow, we rolled three gutter balls on these kids, huh? Number one. Which character on Family Guy said that? Wow, we rolled three gutter balls on these kids, huh? Number one. Question number two, Brian, why does everything you touch turn to garbage? Number two, Brian, why does everything you touch turn to garbage? Which character said that quote on Family Guy? Number two. Question number three, grab that letter opener over there. I'm going to show you why you never mail cash. Number three, grab that letter opener over there. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Number three. Question number four, I'd even go so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. Number four, I'd even go so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. Question number five, I'm going to see which lobster I think deserves to die. Number five, I'm going to see which lobster I think deserves to die. Number five. Question number six, Briggs reportedly escaped during a prison open house, an event that will most likely be canceled in the future. Number six, Briggs reportedly escaped during a prison open house, an event that will most likely be canceled in the future. Number seven, I cut your name into my arm so I can always remember you. Who said that on Family Guy? Very creepy. Number seven, I cut, my, cut your name into my arm so I can always remember you. Question number eight, I'm just saying it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Number eight, I'm just saying it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Number nine, it's gonna rain. Who said that? Number nine, it's gonna rain. 
And number 10, if I enter Connecticut, I'm entering every state that Connecticut's ever been with. Good luck, brave travelers. Number 10, if I enter Connecticut, I'm entering every state that Connecticut's ever been with. Good luck, brave travelers. And number 11 for two points, who said Peter face it without blank or boring? I need to know who said that quote and whose name was the blank. For two points, who said Peter face it without blank or boring? Need the uh, person who said it and the person they're talking about. And actually this one I said at the beginning of the quiz, there's no repeats. This is one of the people that we had as an answer earlier. So keep that in mind if you got all these right. All right, those are your 11 Family Guy quote questions. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We're back with the answers to Family Guy quotes. Let's see how many of these great quotes from a fun cartoon sitcom you got correct. Number one, wow, we rolled three gutter balls and those kids, huh? That was Lois Griffin. Lois Griffin, wife to Peter. Uh, Number two, Brian, why does everything you touch turn to garbage? That is a quote from Stewie, Stewie Griffin. Number three, grab that letter opener over there. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Cleveland Brown, number three, stealing some mail. Number three, and some cash from a letter. Number four, I'd even go uh, so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. The answer there was Quagmire, Glenn Quagmire. Number five, I'm going to see which lobster I think deserves to die is a quote from Chris in a restaurant. Number six, Briggs reportedly escaped during a prison open house, an event that will most likely be canceled in the future. That's news anchor Tom Tucker. Tom Tucker. Number seven, I cut your name into my arm so I can always remember you. That's a creepy thing that Meg said. Meg Griffin. Number eight, I'm just saying it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. That's Brian. Brian the talking dog. And number nine, it's gonna rain. Ollie Williams, the weatherman. Number 10, if I enter Connecticut, I'm entering every state that Connecticut's ever been with. Good luck, brave travelers. That is the late, great Adam West, Mayor Adam West. And your 11, uh, number 11, two-point bonus question, who said, Peter, face it, without blank, we're boring? That was Quagmire, and he was talking about Joe. Without Joe, we're boring. So those were all your answers to the Family Guy quiz. I hope you had fun on today's episode. And if there is another show that you want some trivia on, let me know in an email or join the Patreon page for $5 or more. And you can pick a topic every month that I will record just for you. We've got one more question for you, the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Go to them for all of your printing uh, desires and needs at fmdesignsinc.com. How many inches is a standard size golf ball hole? Send me your answer at ryanbuds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Your trivia team name of today is Tom Tucker Must Die and uh, yesterday's answer for the carpal bones was wrist wrist. Thank you guys so much for playing trivia with me today. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. 